what? That's some music to the ears, literally. We have some very special guests in the house today for a special episode of Back Chat. No Hamish Brayshaw. No, you'll be disappointed with that. But we're here to excite you with the lads from the Hello Sport podcast. Eddie and Tom, welcome. Thank you very much for having us. Or should I say, hello. Hello. No, yeah, (laughs) look... Either, either greeting is probably yeah, yeah. It's it is all it's lovely to be here. It's lovely to be here in sunny Perth. You sunny like Perth, it? turning it on. Fucking oath, I do. It's my first Feeling time. Feeling really comfortable. First time. Second time here. I came here 10, 12, 15 years ago with BMX. Uh, I used to work road. for them. I think it's important to it to, to point out he did ride, not he did not yeah. ride BMX. No, I didn't ride BMX. And listen, maybe maybe I strike it was a guy that did ride BMX. I was working for BMX. I didn't get to see a whole lot of the city then, but I'm pumped to be back. Yeah. Uh, I think you strike me more as someone who worked for BMX than rides <laughs> yeah. BMX. Well, you've absolutely yeah. nailed it because <laughs> that's exactly what I. No, do I've that. actually never seen him ride a bike. I've known him for maybe oh, twenty oh, years. Look, boys, we can't get too far in this episode. I was speaking about our sponsors before, so we do have to do some reads off the top. Of course, very mm. excited to announce in front of you, boys. We've got a new sponsor this episode. Yes, an episode sponsor, naming rights sponsor. Okay, so usually it's back chat. That's it. Then we go through our you know, lovely partners and supporters, which are Leadable Cameras, Whippersnapper, Shelter, Margaret River Roasting Co. and Bluebet. But we have an episode sponsor. and like to happily announce... Can I do this? Yeah, go for it, mate. This episode is brought to you by the Royal India Resto Bar. Oh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll tell you what, little, boys. Little piece of home for you. That's Look good. That. Best in class. Listen, Can, I mean, it's the, greatest, it's the greatest Indian... To have ever touched the li- lips of hardworking Australians, <laughs> I make I make no apology uh, no apologies when I say that I think it's the best Indian in the in the country, if not the world. Oh, look, I've, I've heard you've put it on the global scale. <laughs> it is fucking terrific, and I know people might hear me badgering on about it, and you're like, you're just talking shit. I don't have any commercial agreement with Resto Bar at all. Well, you no. do now. All no, I no. know is, all I know is. I know good Indian when it hits my lips. Yeah. Right? What's I know it, a good Indian when it hits to? my lips and butter? it's as simple as that. Butter chicken or Rogan? Yeah, or? what is he got Well, to? butter chicken goes with it like... Well, I thought the cheesy naan brought back Christ. No, no. Well, <laughs> well, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Jesus Christ was brought back to life on the third day by cheesy naan <laughs> from the rest of bar. <laughs> What'll put hairs on your chest, make a fucking man or woman of you, obviously m- remove the hairs... Well, if you're a d- woman, it depends. Well, that's true. Not all women hairless on the chest. Eddie. Listen, <laughs> it'll make a man or woman of you is dipping that cheesy <laughs> naan into the butter chicken sauce. It's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, I want that. Also, shout out to the decor in. Or yeah, yeah, what, yeah the so, is this, this, this is another so this is just like seven or eight so restaurant. The Indian resto bar is from Eddie's hometown in Dubbo in regional New South Wales. I unfortunately, when we Central went to Dubbo recently to go and enjoy it, it was closed. We called them specifically and were like, is there any chance you could open earlier? Not that we expected they would, but it was more just like a Hail Mary play. Well, they said yes, but the owner was away. Family the owner had some family issues, but they have... They said that open for us. They, 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 told, they started telling us about the family issues. We are like, don't need to know. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Let's just let he, you let him sort out whatever he needs to sort out. But there's more chandeliers in that place than I think chandeliers exist globally. It is exquisite what they've done in there. Is this the Royal India Resto Bar we're still talking about? Yes. Yeah, we are. Have a look at the logo. I it's mean, unbelievable. We, 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 <laughs> R-I-R. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. You go in there, <laughs> everything's bejeweled, it's bedazzled. There's, there's a huge chandelier centerpiece. After you've had an incredible Indian feed, you go and you get photos in front of the chandelier. But doesn't the chandelier, like my understanding of a chandelier as well, was that it's... It hangs Do you know from what a, a chandelier is? <laughs> yeah, but your, I mean, your understanding my understanding of, of what a chandelier should be, like I've seen Titanic and shit, there's chandeliers everywhere, but like they hang from like, they hang to a certain point, like a light. So the chandelier and the rest of it hits the ground almost, Just it? about. Well, that's the that's the centipede chandelier. So that, that sort of... <laughs> there's ca- multiple That's centipede. what draws <laughs> the so eye in. So many chandeliers in this joint. Well, you get photos in front of it. There's like seven or eight like sort of stock standard chandeliers. They're not stock standard in any way. They're, they're, they're yeah, incredible. They're elite. Yeah. They're elite. But there is one major one, like almost like the, the, the centerpiece of the room. And you're drawn to it, Tom. 
And that's, that's all I can say. Well, and that's all we've got all time right. for for this episode. <laughs> yeah. uh, shout out Royal India Resto yeah, yeah, Bar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this yeah. is brought to you by the Royal India uh, Best uh, Resto Bar. But our res- regular sponsors yeah. are still on board, Daniel. Yeah, our regular sponsors are probably a little pissed that we're not even speaking about them. Did they pay you a naan bread or? <laughs> <that work>? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're still open though. There I'm is, a big Indian fan, to be honest. There's, there's Koh the over table. here, which is pretty good. <laughs> that's uh, if we're just rolling through Indian restaurants. Also, what's two fat Indians? Very good in Mount Lolly. Yeah, that is. I'm in seconds, thirds, fourths here. You know, if they want to send some non-bread I'm and if there is air conditioning companies listening um Ford Dakin, and Ford and Doonan um, uh, uh, Fujitsu thank you Sam so so yeah. <laughs> yes uh, do you boys looked after by any of these we aren't I yet am either hot. no this uh, is uh, once again I'm fucking hot in here no it's I'm warm. sweating my ankles are sweating I know when it's hot my ankles start sweating and I can feel them now and I'm not gonna uncross them for I've time. got look and I'm gonna I'm gonna bear my soul to the audience that are just hearing my voice for the first time yeah that I'm, I think genuinely people will be going who the, who the fuck, fuck are these guys <laughs> I've got like sort of I don't have pecs right I've got some sort of soft titty Tits. vibes yeah. so I've got some sweat underneath there that I'm starting to feel that's like you've got yeah, ankles pulls you're, a, you're a former athlete right Form, Cut, keyword still former, an athlete key, but, you know, in, but you've been an athlete so you know what it's like to be fucking primed whereas for me tit sweat is the sign of a hot day tit sweat yep. welcome to hello sport podcast <laughs> thank you I so mean, much. Ma- maybe we should start down with just like a little bit of what the f- you know what you boys are doing here tell it like, what do you do what, what do you yeah, you're on a you podcast here? so do we so yeah why are we here right here well, other than to talk about Tom's tit sweat, <laughs> which is obviously the, I mean, the reason we purchased hell. the tickets. It's why you've tuned in. <laughs> I don't know what you call your listeners, but we are listeners. here in Perth. <laughs> listeners? What are we calling punters and dribblers? Yes. I wasn't sure. No, Just no. making sure. Back chatters. We are in Perth for UFC 284, obviously. Alexander. 284. 284? 284. Alexander Volkanovsky, ready to hump Islam Makachev. Mm. So we've nipped over, Qantas, not an ad. But that's how we got here. Could, could be. Um, <laughs> reach out. Reach out, Qantas, if you want to fucking line my pockets. <laughs> um, and then you fine gentlemen, hit us up. Do you want to do a podcast? We said, sure. So we're sitting down. We're having a bit of a, a global, a globally recognized whiskey. Is, yes. that, is that what yep. we're fucking sipping on, boys? Whipper snapper. Whipper snapper. It is very Whipper nice. snapper. But look, we, we started... For my voice is, is already going. I've been here for an hour. I apologize. My, we started a podcast like six years ago. We were in uni together. Similar to what you've probably heard early on in this podcast is that we sort of, we don't have a full stop and we talk a lot of shit and we just like, that was our existence when we met each other at uni. And we were just like, I feel like doing a podcast generally is almost, like the decision to do it is almost arrogant. We're like, hey, you know what? Let's record ourselves fucking talking and like- People are going to love our voices. People are going to love it. (laughs) Um, But that was what we did. And so we started it and for- so we've been doing it for six years. For four of the six years, we were getting about 30 listeners. It was only in the last Excellent. two years that anyone started to pay attention. So it's been nice. How, but, um, how good is doing a podcast when you literally get 35 people listening? You feel really special. At least the listeners would feel special. Do, do you know what, honestly, the funny thing is, like, for us, again, you were already an established, like, people knew who you were. Former athlete. Former athlete, I'd, I, you're an athlete. For, we were former me. students, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have the same fucking it ring to it, it does doesn't it? doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> but we would get like, we'd get 30, we say it to each other every time now where something cool happens, which we just say 30 listens because we were just getting 30, like we'd get 30 listens every week and it was just our friends. Mm. And we wouldn't promote it because we're sort of embarrassed of being like, we, we were embarrassed of like sharing it around and we just send it to our friends. But like they'd listen every week. And so we were like, well, fuck, like, we might not be good, but there was, like, your friends are almost the best barometer of, like, if something's going okay, because they're also very quick to, like, the way... I was in a band. <laughs> I was in a band once. Yeah. This is how we... This is how we decided. Tom was a drummer. Hey, hey Dan's a band member. Dan, former, I was a, ba- former band former, member. I was a drummer in a band. Shout out. bass player. So shout out There we go. There we go. Got Rhythm the session, baby. Yep. Shout out Drifts on, on Spotify. Don't worry about it. We're there. You can check it out. We're not touring anymore. Um, Did you ever tour? Were you ever touring? <laughs> <laughs> we, went, well, we went to Canberra once. <laughs> Before the band? No, music? no, with the band. With all the right. band. Um, 50 bucks each? L- live show. Like, I year. never saw a dollar. I swear one of the boys was Royal just hoarding India all the cash bar. for shoes. You catch the boys at the Royal India Indian Resto, Resto Bar. bar yeah. Live. Playing the beneath the chandeliers. But so when I was doing that, you would you'd tell your mates to come along. They'd come once, and you'd tell them to come again, and they wouldn't. And so it was like there was an immediate fe- well because we were shit. <laughs> There's an immediate feedback there where your friends yes. go, "Listen, dude, I indulged your fucking your little music 
you know, escapade and I'm not doing it again. So that was before we ever did the podcast. So then I was like, when people just kept, when our friends kept coming back and listening, it just felt like, okay, they don't have to be doing it. So there was just something there. Yes. And so that was just what acted, I think, as like the impetus for us to just keep but fucking around. Yeah. We also, we also sort of the, the push that we needed to do it, because we talked about doing it for years, was that when we moved back from uni to uh, Sydney, where we now live, we just, we didn't see as much as each other as we obviously did at university. So it was a way of like catching up and shooting the shit. Never, ever in my wildest dreams did I think that it would be my fucking job to yes. talk shit. Yes. But as fate would have it, <laughs> as the good Lord <laughs> has, has bestowed, upon, bestowed us. upon us, uh, is a duty to talk shit um, and get paid for it, which is a nice place to be. Yeah, I mm. mean, you get you know, such, such uh, reigning recommendations and, and amazing events like being featured in the Double O Times newspaper. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's restaurant a reviewing. Line. Yeah, correct. That's a real Not just line. the restaurant. Well, that was the restaurant review uh, was... That was actually a high point because Eddie spoke on the podcast after he'd come back from Dubbo, I think from Easter, yes. and you and the family had nipped down to the resto bar for a as, as Jesus as, would have as Jesus hoped. as as Jesus would have hoped would have done <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. It's and, uh, a couple of tradition, cheese, you know? as tradition dictates listen like you know our interpretation at least in the Simpson household of the Bible is that you know after Jesus came back he tucked into a, a good and honest. <laughs> Cheesy naan, <laughs> covered in, in chicken, uh, butter chicken, butter chicken. Cat, do I need to have the dance committee chat to Tom, or is he okay with his? Oh, with his, with, oh, I just, oh, oh no, 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 that's after I talk <laughs> shit about committee as well. Uh, All right, Tom, hey, take us what, back we, to the what we um, what we always ask every guest on our podcast Thank when you. we have guest episodes is that we we like to you know talk about their careers and all the good things that they've achieved, Which but then we like to just bring them back boys. down to earth as mm. well sure. and mm. find out things about them. So the first question we ask every guest is, what is your greatest sporting achievement not in your field of choice? So your sporting achievement for you guys, I mean, podcasters, you can't say anything in podcast realm. And if you did, that'd be pretty lame. So We've already heard it. We've yeah. already heard it's it. It's fine. Um, so greatest sporting achievement that you feel like you can be proud of? What do you hang your hat on? I mean, why don't you, why don't you give him an example, Dan? I mean, I, yeah. I our listeners wouldn't have heard this before. I yeah. mean, you could speak about it. That's right. Then they probably wouldn't have heard. I know that you've been eyeing off this uh, this trophy up here a fair bit. Um, I've that, seen it. Yeah, yeah, that is a real cricket ball. Um, I'm just going to read it out for you. It's probably just yeah, easier. No, just um, sure. Chewett Hill Cricket Club. It's mm -hmm. a big club over big in, club. in WA. Mm, uh, 2000, 2001. Best huge. performance in a final under 12s. Mm. Uh, so I've got the ball. Okay. That's the ball from it. Five wickets for 16 runs. Mm. Wow. In a grand final. Yeah, you might be thinking five for 16. Damn, same one. Now we lost. You lost. I cleaned up well, the talent. Shout That's out to solid. the grade cricket, but I think success in the cricket side is only, it is best enjoyed when the, your team loses. That's correct. <laughs> that's 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 the way you go back so. into the sheds and you swing your dick around and you go, well, I got f I did my job. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking when I've I was 11. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. listen, listen, I've got a couple. Okay. I'll start. Uh, in recent memory, probably probably winning Division Three Oz Tag Championships down at Centennial Park, mm. Eastern Suburbs Comp. That was a proud moment. Uh, for you, that was a it? proud moment. What's Oz What's Oztag? Div Three. Uh, Oztag. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> like you've got two touch tags. footy. It's like touch footy, oh, but you got rugby. tags up the side. Yeah, and yeah, you got to rip them off. Bloody. I don't know. They um, played that as adults. Oh fuck! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Oh yeah, it uh, gets yeah. pretty serious down there. There are Don't some punch-ons at Div Three Oztag. Like there you is. You punch on, you get you get a life ban. But I've seen it happen. <laughs> I've seen one right next door. People fucking throwing down. Team it's good name? for the soul. Team name? The Slippery Bucks. Mm. Yeah. Because we're, we're slippery, you know what I mean? Oh, we're I invasive. Got, I got it. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you understand? Slippery. You understand? Are you with me? Oh, probably, okay, yeah. perfect. Uh, what else? Probably coming second in year 10. Mm. What? When I was nine years old, yes. second Western Era Championships, 100 metres. That obviously... Who beat um, you? This, no? this fucker from Lithgow. I maintain I missed the jump, <laughs> which I did. I did miss the jump. And I was like, holy fuck, because I qualified first as well. So you're pumped up. Yeah. You're full of bravado. I was on my home track, yeah. which goes a long way. <laughs> uh, Matty Sherving, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Shout out yeah, 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 yeah. to Barton Park. And <laughs> Barton Park. Barton Park. It was, like Club. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. turf. At, it was turf at the time, which means you used to, you need to you run a you run a longer spike. Mm. Anyway, twelve mils instead of the, important. Twelve mils instead of the six mils. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's you got to run the twelve mil. I was an athlete. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I missed the jump. I recovered well. Got second. Is that one of my great moments? Sure. 
recovering well to get second. <laughs> Tom? Yeah, well, listen, I made a regional area shot put tournament. <laughs> I thought uh, you were going to bring up fencing. <laughs> Well, no, well, I just... It was a fence of notes. You know what? No, it was a fence of notes. Shot put tournament. Well, so no, 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 no. You're right, you're right. That was, that, was a misleading, boys. that was a misleading terminology. It was a yeah, the, yeah. the athletics, you know what I mean? And I made it for shot put. The school, very impressed with my uh, putting. Your putting. Your putting. With my putting. With, putting. <laughs> with my putting. They, they loaned me a couple of puts. Yeah. They yeah. loaned me a couple of puts yeah. from the school put bag. <laughs> <laughs> he went over, he got to putting. I went down and my dad was helping me fucking could throw him. Could your old man put? No, nah, he couldn't put very <laughs> was well. He, was he a putter? No, nah, he, was, he wasn't putter? a putter, unfortunately. Yeah. But I was in the backyard putting with dad and he was trying to help me. <laughs> he was giving me some tips as a man who's never put it in his goddamn life. Yeah, but he was typical trying to help yeah, father, every, son, yeah, every yeah, man, yeah, exactly. the, in every so, in every inside of every man, there's a man that thinks they can put. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know, especially what I mean? when trying to pass on putting knowledge to their kids. It's primal. <laughs> Putting's primal. Yeah. So anyway, I got knocked out first round at the regionals. <laughs> was shit. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah. Well, I wasn't big enough. Well, the kid couldn't put. <laughs> no, the kid couldn't put. I put it. Ag- I was putting good against <laughs> losers in my school. Like we yeah. weren't a putting school. But when you when you were put up against putters. <laughs> When I you mean, put against when the pudding got put, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. So you that, was, that was that was probably as That's close as I got. Well, that I was in the newspaper, the local newspaper for judo. Not that cool. And I was a, I did fencing, as Eddie said. I would but say again, fencing's less cool than fencing. Judo. Well, neither were very cool. No. Judo, and cool neither shot put. I've got to shot be put. None of them are that cool, actually. <laughs> now that I realise, I'm telling <laughs> no, everyone. No, no, it's cool. Mum was going cool. through the old clippings bag the other day, like she was cleaning out the house, you know, as mothers tend to do at a certain age, and she was going through the news paper clippings she f- she stumbled across one was which was when the cl- the team i played for in under sixes newtown i'd scored the first goal of the season and i was like why is this in the fucking paper <laughs> like did mum call up and say did she <laughs> yeah like under sixes why Eddie. is that getting in? but also first goal of the season <laughs> first goal of the season we were fucking awful <laughs> but also like the second goal of the season was probably scored in the same game we didn't score this. <laughs> that, was, that was it <laughs> so you know what actually now we're talking soccer you know what this isn't my crowning glory or have you got a question about my worst moment in sports i don't want to tell I you that Oh, they could be into well. crossing it. Well, that's at this moment, none <laughs> yes. of my moments are super. Sp- <laughs> I uh, I was playing in a soccer team uh, in Barrel, the Barrel, uh, whatever the fuck we were called. You don't know? Because they just, you said like letters. What? So it wasn't even barrel, like. Barrel blue. What, Barrel L's? It was like the Barrel under six A's, under six B's, but it wasn't ranked or anything. It was just like, it was lazy. Games. We played the local area, right? Look, just don't. Okay. We were undefeated all season. I was a defender. I did very little. Generally, but we were, I was a defender. We were undefeated all season. We get to the big dance, the grand final. The GF. The GF. Mm. All the fucking chockies on the line. Yeah. And some someone from the opposition has like just booted it at the goal. And it's just like, again, you're weak. You're fucking 10. The ball's like just bouncing towards the goal. And it's me and the, like, I'm back there. So I go, well, let's just hoik this bitch back downfield. Yes. So I've gone to kick it. Oh, no. Mistimed it, which is rare for me. <laughs> it sounds like it. It's rare for me. I'm usually a sweet timer of the ball. It's hit my shin on the top part <laughs> of it, which has really given it some backspin. It's gone backwards. It's gone backwards, but not just backwards. Backwards at such a speed that it's rolled into our goal. <laughs> Technically an own goal, I think. is in. So, and so we lost 1-0 the grand final. Oh, boy. Yeah, under federal season. What age level? I think I was 10. Yeah. Oh, that's I was crying true. half time. Dad was trying to console me, like you know, chin up. I'm like, mate. Did he say chin up? Did well, he say get in the car? Well, you're a <laughs> fucking disgrace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're going home. Yeah, we're going home. Put, I'll go get you put some putties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the puts out. Yeah, get the puts out, buddy. You're not a soccer out. player. <laughs> get All the right. puts out, mate. Yeah. All right, yeah, boys. We've got one. We've got a run sheet. You've got a run sheet. I've got a run sheet. I've got one for you that I want you guys to be We're at item well. two. Listen, we're, out. We're, we're item two. <laughs> we'll keep talking. Yeah, if, you don't, if you don't it's give good. us a full stop, it's we won't shut us up. We will continue to talk. Do I need headphones for this? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this good, honest West Australian traffic that I'm looking at? They may not need the headphones. I mean, no, the news report. They would know. The news report makes it funny. Look, we'll pop them in. They should. I'm going to move this way just so the people on YouTube can see and. And please, YouTube, don't don't get us for copyrights from Channel 9 News. Oh, they fucking will. Don't worry about that. <laughs> don't demonetize I'm just going to start playing it. So COVID's a hoax. Um, <laughs> Joking. The, you boys, how did you get here to Perth? Did you fly or did you drive? We flew. Oh, we flew. You sure you didn't drive? 
We're going to show well, you something right now. Okay. okay. I mean, I don't want to commit oh, to an answer fucking, here now. Is this a dry box? Dragon, dragon Wi-Fi is just letting us down. Okay. Bit, yeah. okay. Um, dragon. Are there different Wi-Fis across the country? No, no. I've got. I've, Do you blokes get Telstra over here? We're going to assist. No. You guys heard of like Optus that's and the, shit? That's the, <laughs> that's the hits. We're not that far away. Okay. Uh, although Optus in a bit of trouble, well, to be really honest. Well, I mean, they're all customers. shit. Uh, I tell you what, we what? have different Wi-Fi names. Are you right there, mate? You mate uh, uh, someone's the internet bill has you paid it? Maybe, maybe just try jump on another Wi-Fi plan. There's four of them. I think it's my browser. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, here we go. I got it. I got it. Oh, here thank you, Dan. Here we go. So this here is um, oh, this is Queensland. So you guys didn't come from Queensland. Well, no, that's like, that, I mean they they're moving to New South Wales. Like I, th- I think this might be the boys. All right, I'm not going to say. Go. I'm not going to commit to an answer here. I mean the. I'm not going to incriminate myself. All right, here we go. Thank you. Daniel. Oh, look. I mean, it's not user error. I want to say that. But hey, I've, I've clicked play. I am in absolute sympathy for anyone dealing with internet issues. Our studio... Did you, like, I mean, again, this sounds like I'm... I've got something. Like, I've MBN? Is MBN out here? What? MBN's one of the great pieces of shit all time. And we try to get yeah. MBN in our oh, studio. Snap. Like, sorry, dude. R- can't do it. Right, right, right. While Dan sorts that out, I've got something to read to you, boys, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, this is... Poetry? Th- third item. Well... Oh, you could actually yeah, call yeah. it this. A sonnet? So, you boys know what the Herald Sun is? Oh, yep. yeah. Victorian's greatest, some of the great stories come out of this. This came across our desk last week, and we had a bit of a moment, similar to your Indian Resto Bar. Shout out, Indian Resto Bar. Uh, we could not stop laughing, and just wanted to perhaps read the story to you boys, and mm. maybe get your take on what's actually going on here at the Herald okay. Sun. James Hurd. Do you know who James Hurd is? Oh, yeah. James Hurd. Essendon. Eddie, AFL great. Might have been. Like, was uh, he, was he? Was, was he, wasn't he? Was he, was he AFL great. Was so, he, wasn't he? I mean, James great. has gone to bigger and better things here because I, like, I don't subscribe to Herald Sun, so what I'm looking at right now is get a read on this story. You can get $1 for a week at 12, first for 12 weeks. We're not fucking doing that. I see the preview for the article. It says, inside James Hurd's 50th birthday party. Exclusive. Wow. Inside access. He's got a lot of telegraph about it. <coughs> Wait, well, I think it might even be the telegraph I think of yeah, Victoria. Equivalent. That's so correct. It's one sentence I'm going to read to you. <laughs> okay. Former Bombers player and coach James Hurd has celebrated his 50th birthday party at a par- uh, 50th birthday at a party with friends and family that served up 700 meatballs. <laughs> Wow, what a that's 700 it. meatball! <laughs> what, but what a what a bit of what, that's what, how exciting is that, mate? 700 meatballs. Yeah, like uh, who's is that, counting that? A meatballs like is that like the caviar equivalent in Melbourne? Is that <laughs> yeah, no, no, meatballs are fucking meatballs? That fucking mate. James Heard has ordered 700 meatballs down the party, and the Herald Sun has written an article on it. We're but, still yet to see the article. <laughs> well, but. I, <laughs> Yeah, we still yet to actually. We, we refuse where, to pay for it. But I mean, where's like, James Heard on the fucking dribbler you, scale? Like, is he? Yeah, is he like? Is, is he, he a, a guy fucking that's dribbler? Buy that many meatballs. <laughs> Sorry, like boys, when I'm you just, read that, you're like, that's James <laughs> Heard. Like, <laughs> if I re- if I read that to you, a former <laughs> AFL player, former coach, bit of a fucking, you know, had some things going. Order 700 meatballs. Like, is James Heard top of the list? I, I have just yeah, found I the article. He, I reckon he'd be around that areas of, sure. of, of ordering 700 meatballs. Because the there's some rugby league identities that I can think of. Yeah, well, boys, that I, I can align I've with I've just meatballs. found the article. You're going to have to hear it. So, the, it's an extended um, title. Great. Uh, footy legend James Heard celebrates his 50th birthday with 700 meatballs at an intimate shindig with family and friends after quitting football. Okay. He, he didn't just quit. He got fucking sacked. <laughs> but also, if it's intimate, then 700 meatballs seems <laughs> way too many. Right, there's a bit of, bit of yada, 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 yada. Uh, Tanya shared, so Tanya, his wife, Tanya shared a series of images of the party which was decorated with silver and gold balloons and where 700 meatballs were served. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and an incredible week of preparation for the first day of the Melbourne gift fair, first week back at school, and of course, a 50th of family proportions tanya wrote to will who helped me make the 700 oh meatballs oh my god dude <laughs> that's not me by the way james <laughs> james's favorite comfort dish oh jesus <laughs> homemade garlic bread <laughs> peppermint slice and a birthday cake to rival the best during the week prior as i had to attend the gift fair for part of the day who wrote it? <laughs> to have everything made said wrap and balloons picked up in advance dude what the fuck <laughs> someone got paid to do that and then there's photos of people sitting Show around a dining table smashing meatballs, <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> all sitting there eating meatballs <laughs> <laughs> there's just a tired table of cuts eating meatballs <laughs> what the what fuck? the fuck dude 
head. Is 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 seven hundred? Does that represent anything? <laughs> I, I think like, that is fucking well, like, it re- well, it represents like fucking. You've if got a lot of free 70, time. If there's seventy people there, and there's not a close knit, a, a close knit get together. James labelled as. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. How was, how was James? Oh, oh, his comfort food. food. That is... He looks happy anyway. Well, he Does looks he look pumped. happy? Does he, he look, look like look. he's had an awesome night? <laughs> I mean, he's just a, he's Dude, down he the oval with a whole of footy. I love... Do you know what that screams comfort of, though? How long ago did that article come out? <laughs> oh, like a week, a week, a week ago. ago. Yeah, this is the period, both in yes. AFL and NRL, where yes. the journalists are like... Fuck, we don't have much to talk about. Like, footy's going to come back unless someone punches someone or in rugby league, like, a couple of boys got arrested in cowboy hats for wrestling each other. Saw that. Yep. Good mates just oh, wrestling. I would have thought that's probably on the it's lowest. It's 100% play on. It's 100% play on. Play on. Play on. Absolutely. All right, yeah. this video's finally started working. Oh, the cops are wigging out. But, like, this time of year is where journos really are. Shot, shot. The, the, the film Jordan, comes right Imagine so taking that to your editor, being like, you'd be like, what do you, what do you got? <laughs> yeah, We've well, got fuck all going on. You're no, like, he goes, listen. listen. <laughs> I've got a meatball yarn. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. I've got a meatball yarn. It's going to blow your dick off. 700. Sure. This is a shitload of meatballs. Yeah. But like in the, t- I was reading the paper That's on the flight over. Stuff, mate. Jordan Maylada, who's the former yes. rugby league player playing the Super Bowl, the Eagles, very good. In the Daily Telegraph, which I, as we said, I think is the Herald's own equivalent in New South Wales. Sorry for having Testy Pops all podcast. My voice is going. The whole article about him playing Super Bowl was that he, there was some chick that he went to school with, and she was a singer and she did like drama, and like the day before her performance that she was doing with some other guy in the year where he pulled out, they didn't go into that. <laughs> she goes, Jordan, will you help me? And he goes, yeah, I'll fucking, I'll sing for you. That, that was it. <laughs> what Jordan, is happening? T- Jordan's not quoted once in the fucking article. <laughs> Jordan, they're just talking about how good of a singer Jordan is. Was. Well, currently he can still sing apparently. <laughs> apparently he's got some pipes on him. He's an offensive listen, linesman. I mean, I mean, anyone that argues journalism is getting worse, <laughs> you show them this, you show yeah. them these glass cut articles we've discussed and it's getting oh, better. All right, it's I think about, he argues the fucking It's about to get that. much better though because we've okay. got this, this gem. Okay, it's Ross actually, Border it's Pursuit like, that looks like it's being filmed in slow motion. Oh. A stolen Mercedes SUV crawling south down the M1 through the Gold Coast and so into to, northern New South Wales, oh followed God. by a symphony of sirens. So, Behind the wheel, a teenage boy, while another sits in the passenger seat. Legally, we can't show you the boys' faces, <laughs> but they made no effort to hide their identities. The Casually filming Perth. and live streaming the entire <laughs> event to social media, well, we showing we a blatant disregard the for the law. We ain't getting done. Tweet heads. Further taunting police, the youth in the passenger seat hangs out of the <laughs> car, <laughs> <laughs> grabs the camera that and starts like vaping. No, yeah, he too yeah. starts to film the fleet of patrol here, cars in their wake. Can anyone count how many copies? There's about 50 cars. We get a message from someone. Traffic banking up as police block off both lanes of the motorway. Other drivers couldn't believe their eyes. What is going on here? What the f? <laughs> it all started in Brisbane's so Bayside. CCTV shows the car driving along the, the streets of Cleveland boys. just before. Uh, yeah. the oh, yeah, yeah. So they've driven into New South Wales, they've stolen a car. One of them sits on top of the roof. They have 50 police cars behind them driving at about 12 k's an hour down whatever freeway you have over there. That's like GTA. It wasn't you. Can confirm? No, that wasn't. No, listen, listen, they're listen. two ripped. That was probably the only giveaway. Their faces were blurred, so for a second I thought it was me, but they have six packs. I'd love to get on here and, you know, flaunt my six pack. The reality is all I've got's a fucked back. Yeah. And <laughs> a bit of a tum. So. A bit of a tum. That's all right. Our yeah. 2023 goal is to get six packs. It though. is. We have yeah, so We're going to get six packs too. You want to hear what? Yeah. We got, we got, we got someone coming on called Fat Chat. Fat um, Chat? Fat so Chat. So post, post-season, uh, sorry, post, post-career athlete. Um, what are you? You know, never an athlete mm-hmm. in career. Bullshit, dude. I see that trophy. Yeah, that's, that's true. We're mm-hmm. all athletes at heart. Uh, we're, all gonna, we're all committed to losing a bit of weight. So Hamish, who also hosts a podcast with us, mm-hmm. he's about to start the WA um the waffle season over here, you know, the uh, yeah. state league, state, state league, state league. Yeah, yeah. Came, it was not set. not to be confused with like waffle waffles, waffles yeah. general. No, no. Well, that's especially Which is where I thought that was going. <laughs> I thought that was going. Sits down, talks. In March, we sit down, we eat waffles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that> <laughs> was wrong. Listen, he, he was that's about not the how first many time kilos over? He was about eight. He was 108 kilos. This is the brother of Andrew Brayshaw, who won the MVP in the AFL, and he was the Fremantle best and fairest. There's a couple of Brayshaws kicking around. So one of them sits here and talks with us. He doesn't play AFL. Did he ever? Yes, yes. for West Coast. Yes. One game. One game. 
It was one of the great hey, games. Dude, one, one, game. one of the great, one of the great I'm sure you knew about it. No, uh, I did. I did. Uh, so, uh, so, so, and his brother, not so his too, brother is one of the greats. But his brother, the who is the one that your one of your boys fucking Andrew, clocked? Yes, Andrew Gaff. Clocked and he missed Andrew out on the Rachel, GF, didn't he? That's correct. I and felt bad for who, him. Who stepped in? Moi. Anyway. Oh, is that why? Well, that's what someone that fucked way. their hammy as well, isn't that why uh, you got in? These boys have been doing their. Mate, hey, come on! We're gonna look, we're gonna look silly when we talk about NRL, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a calf. Oh, well, okay. No, it was well, a soft tissue injury, no, right? That was, no, was a hammy. It was Brad Shepard's hamstring. It was absolutely fucking correct. Well, I've hey, no dude, idea. I've no idea. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, Andrew Brayshaw <laughs> is the best player in the league right now. Uh, Angus Brayshaw plays for Melbourne. Uh, he won a premiership two years ago. Hamish Brayshaw, well, Will Brayshaw is the uh, brother that's never played AFL. He's in the Army. He's in, in the SAS, I believe. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's, he's better legit. than the other two. Yeah, Hamish yeah, sits with us, and he was at Christmas with his family. And he's sitting around, and he's looking around. He goes, I'm the fucking shit brother here. Hamish's dad uh, said to Hamish, you're fucking fat, mate. You, <laughs> oh, who the my fuck, God. Who ate Hamish? So he came on here and said, boys, I need to lose some weight. So we started Fat Chat about three weeks ago where... We just talk about how fucking hard it is to lose weight. It's we like drinking piss. Dude, like, it's actually really we really like exercising. Yeah. yeah, no, it's tough. Like, unless you want to become, like, a monk, yeah. it's, you can't I mean, it's, lose it's weight. It's tough, especially if, you, you know, you go to get fuel and you walk inside and maybe there's, like, a four-pack of fucking twirls on sale. What if there's a fucking... And they're looking great. What was, what was that special we had at the server? Oh, order? $2 pie Friday. $2 yeah. pie Friday. $2 what are pie you doing, Friday? dude? Like, it's cheaper to be pie. fat. Like, yeah. what do you want me to do? Curly, whirly, squirrelies. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> are, you are you pulling curly, whirlies off? I thought there might be someone buying them in the neighborhood. Oh, no, dude. Here. We're curly, yeah. whirly, squirrelies. No, we're probably curly, whirly, squirrelies. We ate some yesterday. I like I like, curly, I like curly whirly. So right. curly whirly is the bar. Yeah, yeah. And then curly whirly the squirrels is the, the packetized curly whirly um. Where you're right. just like little chocolate worm yeah. versions of that. So you're getting right. small hits. Do they curly sell these goodness. Here? And you're like, oh, I'm smart too. And then <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't they were in our in cupboard in our office. We've been trying to be, again, we've been trying to be living clean. What, what about chomp? Oh yeah, chomps are chomps. Chomp, are, well, uh, listen, they a were chomp, a cinema staple. A chomp for me. would, a chomp, generally speaking, will sit next to a curly whirly in service stations. What I've found is they've, they've improved the Curly Whirly experience and that's with a bag of Curly Whirly Squirly. Right. Yeah. There's no chomp bites going around. Now, obviously, we're getting chomp into the bites. fucking weeds. You're here. welcome, Cabrio. Yeah, the fuck yeah, makes yeah, yeah. Chomp bites. Yeah, make some chomp bites. Like i tell you what's not Here easy. It is. It's like, so obviously, Tom and I, I don't know if you're listening to this, but Tom and I are on, we're on track to reach six pack city at some point this year. That's the goal. Really? What doesn't make well, things I easy? We're not on track. That's the goal. <laughs> What doesn't make things easy is that like 4.30 on a Tuesday is when you hear a knock on the door and the Uber delivery man walks in <laughs> with fucking chicken tenders, a bag each, and a large bag of fries each. Yep. Like delicious. Don't know who provided them. Best in class, but... I might have ordered them without anyone knowing. But, <laughs> and you got, you got your sponsors. You spoke about, sponsored by Bloke in a Bar. No, no, you're sponsored by Bloke Beer. Bloke in a Bar, they're doing amazing. Anyway, Bloke Beers, I'm assuming they're on tap somewhere in your... In your they're all, uh, absolutely. Well, we've they, got they'd be on. They'd be on. They'd be on rival with Shelter, I believe. East Coast, West Coast, Shelter, yeah, West yeah, Coast, yeah, 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 yeah. bloke East Coast. Sure. Yeah. You've got uh, you've got <laughs> Indian restaurant Resto sponsorship. Bar, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bloody difficult out here in the real world. It's it's hard to be jacked and hot when <laughs> people give you food for free. Yes. <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? And booze. Like, what do you want me to do? There's beer Sorry, in the fridge. Mm. It's a Tuesday. I'm still sad from the weekend. Mm. Like, I'm probably going to eat the chocolate. Well, I, I'm gonna t I need to take the edge off because I'm incredibly sad. Also, if carrots were that fucking tasty, then you could get bags of them at the counter when you're getting fuel. Yeah. But they're not. They're not that That's good. That's why Curly Squirly Squirly... <laughs> 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 uh, uh. And Frere Rochers. We Frere pounded, Rochers. we got through a packet of Frere Rochers. Nah, I don't know about that, boys. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> what happy to, I'm, the fuck? I'm, I'm, happy to, I'm, I'm happy to take on board the Curly Willy Swear. Not Frere Rochers? No. Nah. You're the Mate, first person. You don't, you, think that, you don't think they're posh I mean, and highbrow? Are, are, you, are you buying them? I mean, it's quite No, expensive. dude. It's a Christmas indulgence. Right. Like, I'm not, it's not a mid You buy them as a you're gift. Not, you're not walking in and going, I'm going to grab no, some Frere Rochers. No, 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 no. That is my fault. I didn't make that clear. You're not walking in some Curly Willy What you'll do is, if you play an eyes up rugby league football. Or AFL. Or AFL. Is your buy is is maybe you have a hankering for Ferrero Rochers, but you know deep inside that you can't buy them for yourself, so you'll gift them mm. maybe to your wife, <laughs> and then <laughs> your, okay, all of mate. a sudden, <laughs> or your mate, or your mate. So my mate in the studio, Tom, or my wife at home, Ella, and either way, there's Ferreros on hand. 
That's what you do if you're yeah. playing yeah. up. Yeah. Um, Fat chat, don't listen to yeah, these fucking idiots. Speaking of um, rugby league, I, I, we, we know nothing about rugby league. Speak for um, yourself, mate. God's win again. I'm, I'm still battling for the Western Reds. They were a thing. For <laughs> well, they might come back sooner than you think. Oh, well, I'm up for that. Um, Shout out I, Western Reds. You know Chat GPT? Yep. Yeah. Yes. I um, just asked it to give us some uh, some mean NRL jokes about their fans. And then it said, I'm sorry, I can't provide you the mean jokes about a particular group of people, blah, blah, blah. And then I just oh had to change the question. Chat um, GPT. So I just said, what are some funny jokes about NRL fans? So I'm going to like listen to you and see sure. if you find them funny. Yeah. Um, you always right for drinks. Uh, oh, yes. I'm good, thank yeah. you. Good, okay. good. Why got do whiskey. Good, got whiskey, right. thank okay. you. Uh, yeah, we might do this one. So chat GTP, GPT. funny funny jokes about NRL fans. Yeah. Why do NRL fans always wear team colours on game day? Uh, because they don't want to be mistaken for tourists. Hell, no, that's... Is that a is that a thing? Mm. I No, look, nah. technically, in the technical sense, no. Nah. Nah. Okay. Um, Thank you. That's listen, a good start. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting here wanting to give you a yeah. pass mark. But also, oh, it's, I, not I, a, it's, I, not a, it's not a dance. It's chat GBT. Yeah. yeah, well, but it's his question. Um, <laughs> what, <laughs> you've picked that one, Dan. Seen Liza go again. Uh, what do you call an NRL, an NRL fan who never attends games? Uh, uh, a couch potato. A couch potato. Okay, yeah. okay, sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, this is you, 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 okay. This is the last I'm gonna one. I'm going to put, no, no, before you read the last one. Yeah, yeah, right. You put this in the chat, GTP, before the, uh, GPT, before the boys got here. Mm. I audibly heard you <laughs> laughing. <laughs> I heard you looking at them and doing that laugh. Yeah. And I said, don't tell me. They sound good. <laughs> at the moment... They haven't been right, good. Well, this doors. Doors. Is, this, is, this, is this where it gets good? This is, yeah. ring is this a real knee slapper? <laughs> why, why did the NRL, <laughs> why did the NRL fan bring a string to the game? <laughs> why? Uh, in case they needed to tie the score. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are a fuckwit. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at Eddie. He's not impressed yeah, at all. Fucking <laughs> Tom's laughing because he feels like. Oh, wow, I'm <laughs> awkwardly laughing. I'm like, I feel bad okay. for Chat GBT. Tie you? the score. It's just. Okay. I get it. You know what? That was the best of all three. Okay. I'm just going to give you one from the same thing I did with AFL fans, and maybe you'll find these ones. Okay. Maybe we will. Yeah. yeah. Um, why did the AFL fan bring a ladder to the game? Okay. Who wants to climb the ladder? In case I needed to climb to the top of the ladder. <sighs> That's sort of like very obvious. Yeah. Jesus. It's not just Christ. an AFL joke either. No, it's a ladder <laughs> joke. <laughs> it's actually. a ladder joke. It's, it's a, a ladder joke. It's a handyman joke. Yeah, yeah, Anything yeah. else, Dan? It's all it's a no, roofer I just, joke. I, just, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure if maybe those jokes would be really funny because I don't know NRL at well, all. Well, what I thought um, I would do. <laughs> what, I would I, what I thought I would do, right? Because I don't know anything about it. I thought I would speak about the Manly Seagulls, fellas. What do you the think about that? The all the land. Is that well, a couple of eagles here. Yeah, right? correct. This is nice. Correct. This is nice. Correct. So I want to... Except one's a seagull. I put it into it's chat eagle, though, GPT, yeah. right? And thought maybe they can help me out. Um, you tell me, boys, if this is a correct summary. First of all, it says... I said, tell me about the Manly Seagulls season preview 2023. Yeah. How are they going to fucking go? Win the comp. I'm sorry. <laughs> But as a language model AI, my training data only goes to 2021, and I don't have any information about the Manly Seagulls 2023 serious? season. Is that about right? I well, mean, listen, are you off no the what? fucking map. That no, it, chat no, GBT? no. Well, I, what I would say there is, we found the flaw in ChatGPT. Everyone's wigging out. AI is taking over the world. This thing's fucking useless. <laughs> it doesn't know what Manly wins. What about this? Do. In recent seasons, mm -hmm. Manly the Seagulls have been a competitive team. Yep. Yes, making it to the finals. Yep. yep, and putting up a strong fight against some of the top teams in the league. Correct. <laughs> they yep. have a talented roster of players. Yep. Yep. Including experienced veterans mm -hmm. and exciting young prospects. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is good. And are always a threat on the field. Correct. Yep. Dude. Correct. This is that's. We are the only side in the NRL who's consistently a threat. Who's sure. consistently it's a threat? Difficult to make a precise prediction about the 2023 season without knowing more about the team's roster. I mean, what the fuck are you doing? You meant to know everything. You are meant to know everything. But based on their recent performance, it's reasonable to expect that the Manly Seagulls will once again be a force to be reckoned with in the upcoming yes, season. Yes, dude. Like yes. That. Correct. It's going at well, it's, it's not. Fucking, yeah, no, it's no, no, correct. no, it is correct. It, it is correct. It was probably a little bit conservative with yeah. its predictions. I think that, you know, if you, if if push came to shove and you put a gun to chat GBT's head, 
it would probably say Manly Seagull is going to win the comp 2023. And That'd not like an under duress, like not like say what we want you to say, more just like make a decision, get off the fence, say the truth. Yeah. And it would say Manly probably going to win the comp. We've got some of the hottest fucking players. Hot, some, hot, like guys. visually, but yeah, more no, no, about like guys. what they can bring well, to the table. Well, hot to the touch, but hot to the iris. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the iris. The red. Um, but we're the red retina. Retina. Yeah. Like we've got a, yeah, <laughs> no, no, what's an iris? Iris is in the eye. Google is dolls? it? Retina? Google Isn't that the thing that opens and closes? Okay, yeah, it's As true. if the oh, iris Google is doll. in the eye. I don't fucking know. Iris in the eye. Okay, good. Clear, clear but we up. do. We've got a great but mix of old like, and new. We've got the uh, what's the what's the uh, the AFL equivalent? The uh, the Dallium equivalent? Br- the brown brown low. Brown low. Sorry, I did know that. That comes across as me being stupid. That's okay. I'm sure I've come across stupid. I wouldn't have more known. than just I, I wouldn't have known it was the Dalliams. Uh, but so the NRL Dalliam, we've got the he was the Dalliam two not last year, year before. What's his name? Tom Trebojevic. Ah, he's got a brother that plays with him. Jake, two brothers. Two brothers. Jake Trebojevic. They've got three ben, fucking there's brothers. There's four, but the fourth one, much like a Brayshaw. they got a Brayshaw. Really? But he didn't play even one game. He's he, fucking, he'd be in the SA. He's like well, a computer technician. Well, one loves Ribbon and Terran, and the other three love Ripon and Terran on the field. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we love it. <laughs> but two of them, currently Australian and New South Wales representatives, like weapons. Tommy is the best player in the comp two years ago, but he's fucking got some hamstring injuries, which, you know... He's working on it. He's working on it. He's gone to the US, worked with the best in the business. Bill Null, shout out to him, dear friend. <laughs> yeah. Bill, um, <laughs> Bill Null's a hamstring Well, he's a hamstring, ha- hamstring whisperer. Expert. He whispers to Hammy. Yeah. I, I have been, look, knew your boys are coming over. I've been really keen to have a chat and been, you know, just having a bit of a Google, chucking in Hello Sport. I've just seen a lot of photos. You boys, you boys do get around, don't you? You've seen, yeah. seen some very famous heads. Well, we were it's over there. It looks like it's Photoshop. But I no, mate. Listen, no, people no, no. say that, but they're just jealous. Yeah, well, that's um, people that don't understand Photoshop. People don't either. get it. We yeah. went over to... We we're went, well so travelled, yeah. Tommy went to, to, to the US just recently to get Bill Knowles, who I think works for the Eagles, to look at his hamstring. We accompanied him over there with Hugh Jackman, who's also a manly lifetime <laughs> Hugh member. Hugh Jackman. Hugh put us up in his San Francisco apartment. It was it was very sweet of him. It was very well, kind. It was state. unnecessary. Um, Where does Hugh Jackman live in San Fran? Well, he doesn't. He's just rich, dude. He has, mm. he has places everywhere. Rich people have houses in every city. Yes. Yeah, so it was more that he goes, I have a place in San I Fran. I did say you boys... In the front row of the Manly Seagulls team photo day. Now that, that wasn't that wasn't photo. So what the fuck's going on there? Again, we're loved by the club. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to, I'm going to speak to you about that. So, uh, former athlete, um, yeah. West Coast Eagles team photo day. Done 14 of them. Premiership every player. every Premiership player. Every year, they would bring in the fucking nuffies for the photo. So we'd have the, we have the players. I don't appreciate the, that terminology. We'd have the sponsors. <laughs> can I ask the sponsors? Can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? <laughs> Premiership player, apparently. <laughs> no, that, no, that. no, apparently. <laughs> Mate, there's no, a photo listen, apparently they're holding the field. Listen, I, I don't know. Apparently, what? <laughs> there he is. But like, let me ask you this. And apparently, you've won a premiership. <laughs> How important is the boying of boys? Well, I've heard about this too. Mm. Is, is boying a boy important? <laughs> it is. Would you have won a comp without a boy boy around? Without people boying getting up? you whipped up into a frenzy, you know what I mean? Telling you you're Getting good. you to the top of the water like yeah. a boy, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Floating. yeah floating. floating. Yeah, boying you. Like tapping your ass, looking you in the eyes and going, you go fucking there and floating. fucking rip and tear. So, so what are you? We're, the boys. We're boy boys. We're you're, in the top 30. We're giving we're top 30 contracts to boy the boys. You're the boy with the We're boy boys. B U O Y, I yeah. believe is the spelling, or B O U Y. Listen, I'm not a speller. Bowie. 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 That's what they say in America. Yeah, America. We're boy Bowies. Yeah, basically, we're boy Bowies, but we're not Bowies because we're not Yanks. We're boys. Do you think boy the boys, boys call you boy boys? Or do, do you think they, like me, just called you absolute fucking nothing? <laughs> 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 listen, listen. I can see how your view of us from over here may be a bit distorted. <laughs> I, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about West Coast when yeah. the Nuffies used to walk in. I don't know yeah, what yeah, the yeah. Eagles no. think of you guys. No, no, no. Listen. Mate, when we walked in, the boys were... There were cheers. We were well, like getting clapped was, up was the there a, Listen, was there applause? Yeah, yeah there was. It was you can put me on a light. You can put me on a lie machine, baby. I'm not telling no lies. No. Cat, can you grab that one for us, please? <laughs> you got the lime machine. Cat, yeah, go get the There was rapturous applause. There were some tears. There were <laughs> who was kisses, crying? Hugs. Who was crying? Uh, a couple of the uh, staff. A couple of Jake, Jake one of the brothers. One of the turbo Jake staff. Was, Jake was. Jake was in tears. He crossed the job of a hat and face. Boys, do you need chat GPT? Chat 
B- GPT to preview the West Coast Eagles season? Because I have it sitting here if you do. If Listen, you don't. If you want me to preview the West Coast Eagles season. I do. No, but like that's going to be more difficult than if you just want me to like, or me and us to give you like our predictions. For the I, yeah, that's what I meant. I can. I can. Well, but West Coast is very specific, right? Like I'm well, a East did, Coast man, okay. West Coast. No, the West Coast Eagles. I know you won the comp in 2006. Yes. You I also know that you played Optus Stadium. Yes. They I lost it in 2005. That's correct. They lost it in 2005. They also lost in 2015. That's correct. But you won it 2018. 2018. Kick Bad after memories. the siren. No, so not after the siren. Not close enough. Well, close enough. from yeah, yeah. the boundary. Yes. That I was know actually that your hectic. rivals, the, the Dockers. Yes. Nat Fife stepped down as skipper. Doesn't think he can play a Doesn't role anymore. Doesn't think he can play a role. Wants to hand the fucking reins over to someone coming oh, up because he wants to come, He wants to concentrate on keeping, kicking goals for Listen, the club. Listen, he wants to win a premiership, right? And he thinks that he's best served focusing on being Nat Fife. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I can <laughs> be Nat Fife it, like, every day of the week, then that's what I need to be to win the but he to needs, win but, but he needs to be 100% of himself. And right now, he's probably like 65% well, Nat Fife. Oh, mate, probably 65, 67%, something like that. Yeah, not not enough. Not be more spot on, fellas. Yeah. I've yeah. got to be honest. No, no, mate. We so, no. We don't need chat. Yet. No, no, don't. Also, you're, you're, these boys in here. Their I mean, AFL they're, knowledge they're actually is about doing better. Ninety percent. Ours is about. I do about. 5%. A, I don't know. Ten to twelve shows Mate, a week. On what this are we shit? talking about? I've never heard that take. No, that we correct. we understand that AFL. five steps down to be that to be that five. five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he goes. Listen, I'm sick of being. I'm. <laughs> I'm, I'm sick, sick of not being that. Yeah. I need to be nut again. Yeah. yeah. And if I'm, I'm going to win a comp, we all fucking know that if I'm not 100% nut, yeah. we're not doing a fucking goddamn thing. No, no, no. I'd say, look, part of me respects nut. Part of me also thinks he's talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> look, I will give him this. It was an incredibly selfless act that he should be commended for. He spoke very well. He spoke amazingly. I was watching him going, fuck, this guy can yarn. He almost wanted to keep talking. I'm happy for him, though. Can I ask you this? Mm. Just out of curiosity. Yes. And this is just something I picked up through my travels. Mm. AFL players speak pretty well. You're, you're, you're well polished. Yeah. Do you get a polished track? Do you get a finishing school? Compared, compared to NRL players. <laughs> oh, probably less drugs. Oh. Well, I don't know about that. You guys have like a 12-strike <laughs> policy. It's all well, the right. like one of, the, the amount of fucking One of your famous you players might with. disagree with that. Yeah, you get caught with a bit well, of sniff in the NRL and it's least, like, they're sorry, they're can't not filming it anyway. They're not when you finish playing for work, don't you fucking jump on highways and carry on? Isn't that what you do? Now you play with caught with bags, What's it's like... Oh, you go wave down traffic on the highway <laughs> shit. with nine lives. <laughs> don't you go fucking shaving every hair on your body? <laughs> so you mate. take your eyebrows yeah. off? I just get my asshole waxed. Yeah. Why is that? No, yeah. Yeah. Test, well, right? mate. Boys, I'm yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what was the question here? <laughs> was the question is, you're fucking, you're well polished. And then oh, it's turned, in, it turned well. into an unnecessary attack. <laughs> that was not me. That's some, that that's some fucking, fucking good, honest, hard-working rugby league Yeah, we had to go into bat for the rugby league. That's true, so, to answer your question, I would say it's the same. I, I'd speak to a few NRL boys. I don't, I'm sure you've been following my media career fucking very closely. <laughs> was, oh, absolutely. But, uh, well, actually, the last media, the last chat I had with an NRL player, it was um, uh, Darren Lockyer. Well, there you <laughs> he go. He sounds like he has had his throat in a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, man, dingo yeah. stuff. Well, he's, been, he's, he's, been, yeah, yeah, he's been working. <laughs> He's been working. Darren Lockyer, uh, there's a couple of Darren Lockyers, but I feel like it was like, there's Jeff Toovey, Darren Lockyer, Cooper Cronk that come to mind where it's like, they've been, they've been whacked so hard in the throat that it's just like, it's done for you. There's nothing we can do. And they've just gone completely there's a snake or a lizard on the ground. If there's a snake in here, dude, <laughs> I know well, it's West Australia. I don't know what's going well, on. It's but going like, for you, Tom. It looks, it looks snakey. No, nah, if it's just a lizard, no, that's cool. Lizard. Oh, it's just one of your garden variety skinks. Um, look, <laughs> I, I think AFL players that are in the media might be better spoken. Um, but I would say the vast majority are just... Just horrible, just, just awful. Really? Yeah, just awful. Maybe, maybe not bad speakers, but give nothing. Absolutely, like you know. See, there's no, a, I understand no, there's, that. There's a different. Nothing. No, no, there's no. There's a difference nothing between and not giving being nothing able to talk. and sounding like. You know, you can get on there and talk about winning the contest of footy all day long. <laughs> like, I get that. We got to get down and there. Maybe and do not a job. get. Maybe not giving anything, but you know, there's some league players where you can. You can. Can't and this is full. This is full respect to, to rugby league generally. You can't understand a word they're saying, as in the English language. Yeah. Well, it's probably not their first language. Mm. No, maybe, maybe dribble and yarn, maybe. Well, I, I, I just think AFL players in general are quite similar to NRL players, and the, and the NRL gets a little bit of a bad rep for behaviour that's may, may have gone on. But as you pointed out, 
wasn't there a guy like pissing in his mouth at a urinal? Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> he was thirsty. He's the trophy now. That's what you get he when you win the comp, thirsty. dude. You get Todd Carney blasting a yeah. big old bunch of piss into his mouth. Look, I'd argue... Like, that's, that's rugby league, though. Yeah, that's but I'd argue, this. <laughs> I'd argue this. If you've won a Dally M, you can piss in your own mouth. Yeah, no, you can. <laughs> you, if you can't piss in your own mouth and you're the best player in the fuck... Like, what are, where what are, are we, we doing? Like, As a people. I don't want to watch the game. That's not my rugby league. Did Aww. Homo Sabians leave Aww. Africa? <laughs> Fuck. To be held back from pissing in our own I, mouth. Yeah. I think they may have. That's exactly what happened. That actually might be where they drew the line. Fucking all hell. those years ago. Shout out Dakin Air Conditions. I'm sweating. Yeah, no, shout out you. Fujitsu right, let's, Dakin. Let's try, um, let's try and start to wrap it up because it is that hot. Oh, there's a couple of things we have to do on the pod. Yeah. Um, we're going to well, talk about Because we like to. We oh no! We, we absolutely love, have we to. We can't to. miss it. No, correct. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have a betting partner, Blue Bet. Bloody good legends. No, Blue Bet. No. Got some, look, yeah. well, look, we're more Neds. The true, the true Blue Aussie book. True Blue Aussie book. Where we are, Neds take to the Neds level. That's obviously just like that is what. Yeah, it is, that's right? cool. We um, prefer like you know. You like with betting. The best. You, you like working with the best, dude. You like, you like betting. Love to love a little punt. Great. Okay. Punt um, and dribble. So I assume you're doing something with the Super Bowl. You guys going to get around the Super Bowl this you weekend? You assume wrong. Actually, we're not doing. Listen, right. we're listen, actually on I, a I, like, I'll set. I'll set the scene for you. <laughs> okay. Do we get just to provide context to your listeners? Because mm. this is coming out Monday, by the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, the, so Tom and I last season tried to to get on board with with Super Bowl gambling, and the NFL, yeah. NFL American gambling football. Generally. Fucking generally speaking, we went into. We thought the best way to do that was to do the fantasy league. Tom mm. Ooh, got that. way too high on his own supply. Yeah. Thought he'd have the first fucking seven weeks off in a sixteen or eighteen week <laughs> season. <laughs> yeah, didn't didn't work well for him. The, the no. punishment was that the loser, which was obviously Tom, because he didn't mm. fucking do anything, yes. had to spend twenty four hours in a Macca's for every cheeseburger you yep. eat. You get an hour off, Great. which now, what is it, you know that was I think that was off from. So like he's in for five NFL hours, show. one eight nineteen. So the Super Bowl for at least for him and then yeah I'm fucking yeah I'm scarred NFL scarred. I'm damaged from NFL. So did you do yeah. that? I yeah. did. We're, we're actually we're locked into a I believe a Macca's deal for 24 hours. We were going to hang out at um, North Perth Macca's for 24 hours. When yeah. tomorrow? On you, Monday? <laughs> not, not Monday. No, 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 no. Can you at take can you take an hour off with a cheesy? No, we've we, what we basically no, not a, not cheeseburgers. It was it was a prize to basically someone could come and have unlimited supply of McDonald's for as long as you want, capped to 24 hours. Phil so. Fish is a big part of this podcast, boys. Mm. So the, the curly whirly swirly sounds like a big part of yours. The, the <laughs> Phil Fish is a big part of ours, and when I say a big part, I mean. It is a fucking indictment on uh, us as a country, as a, as a globe, mm. that people eat those. Mm. Um, Dan's a massive fan of a fillet of fish. So okay. Charles Barkley this week on his on a podcast heard him say before a game you eat double fillet and a, a large. Can, and then, look, we've got history him now. A double fillet of fish. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. We've like we've got history. We, we tried one. We were like, what the fuck is this monstrosity of it? Like of a burger. Mm. It's but horrible. then we tried it. No. Nah. Have you tried it? Wait, and then you tried it. They're actually pretty good. Yes. Listen, I'd never order hang another on, one again. I'll hang never on, order hang it again. Hang on. There's levels to what? Uh, there's they're levels fucking to that. Better. Oh, they're fucking better, better. There's levels to this. Yeah, yeah. I not, didn't... A lot of people go... I would always go, I fucking hate filet fish. And people go, have you tried it? And I'd always say no. So they're like, we don't know what you're talking about. Now, I've tried one. They're not that bad. But I'd fucking say this. If you're picking a filet fish over a quarter pounder... Over anything, Joe. Over a Big Mac. If you go in there and order... You are a sick puppy. Yeah. It's as simple as that. I'm sorry, but there's better Just burgers look, on the menu. Look him in the eyes. There's, while there's better are. burgers on the menu. You do strike me as a filet of fish guy, though. <laughs> I will say that. You it's, do. The, it's the bun. It's so steamy. And well, no, you, you can, get, you can we, get a you fucking can steam, steam bun anywhere. Bun. anywhere. <laughs> you can steam we anywhere. We can do this bun. with workers at McDonald's. They don't fucking steam they, they, no, no, but but they're not steam it. Oh, steam that penny sitting out of the back, sitting on the fucking buns, Yeah, yeah, mate. yeah, yeah steam you steam it. Right. Just put in my pants. <laughs> That's is that how they steam them? They, they put steam in one of the anyways in an intern's ass. The Super Bowl. Sorry, blue bet, back chat bet. Shout to uh, shout to Neds. Yeah, <laughs> shout to Neds. <laughs> blue bet. Um, <laughs> so the Neds level. <laughs> blue bet. Uh, don't even know what they're saying. So <laughs> yesterday was uh, two days ago was the Super Bowl, right? And we we did have a multi on it, which we. One slash lost. Oh, are we pretending that we're, are <laughs> yeah, you pretending yeah. we're recording this on a Monday? Congratulations <laughs> yes. on that Thanks. bet. Or commiserations. Uh, yes. and I'll just uh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, All, yeah unfortunately. The Denver unlucky. Broncos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Falcons. 
<laughs> so Super Bowl Demo. multi. We don't know how it's fucking gone because this is uh, Friday. It's now Monday. It's now fucking Tuesday. You listen to this. Actually, it's a fucking long time ago. Uh, Super Bowl. Well done, Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, we, we won. Fucking, yes, yeah, we're fucking good. Kansas City Chiefs win. And Mahomes MVP. Well done, Philadelphia. Travis Jordan Kelsey. Tra- 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 Travis Kelsey scores a touchdown and it goes over fifty point five points, and we yes. win the fucking. So yeah. that's the bet. Overs. Kelsey, Overs, Kelsey, Mahomes, Mahomes MVP. It's a fucking great bet. Right? That's a Pains. high scoring. So you might be sound like a Philadelphia team over here, but well, Ke- I'm actually a Kansas City. If well, Kansas we, listen, we love the country. We love that. We love Australia. And if there's an Australian playing, no, that's fair. Jordan Sipos. I mean, Aaron Sipos. So you've got the ex NRL lad in. Mm. You know, but you're looking at me like you don't know who the fuck Aaron Sipos uh, is. Listen, with the greatest respect to Aaron, I have no fucking he's, idea. Who he mate, is. there are so many fucking reasons you should know who this is. Number one, he's an Aussie. Number two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number two. Kicked a good goal once. Nup, right number two. 50. Okay. He's a punter. Punters and dribblers. Well, that's not a bad He's a point. fucking that's punter. Okay. That's I a mean, good point. Have yeah, you boys had a sat, sit down with your marketing team at fucking some uh, point? When I say marketing no, team, we, we've got together, to consult our marketing together. team. That's mm. a punters, point, dribblers. Yeah. You should be getting on the punters. Yeah. Australian punter. Listen, yeah. that's not an omen I can just walk past. No, you can't walk past an omen like that. But Jordan Maylata played. Like, I saw him play. Let me talk about Let me talk about the blue bet bet. Right. Uh, back chat, yeah. blue bet bet. <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> multi. <Blue bet. laughs> Super Bowl multi. <laughs> Super Bowl multi. If yeah. Kansas City, just okay, just humor me. Kansas City yep. win. Yep. If they win, Mahomes is playing well. Correct. Yep. He's MVP. Anyway. You'd think so. So though, yeah. tick tick. As she goes down injured. Correct. And then we're fucked. <laughs> <up, so. laughs> if Mahomes is playing well, Kelsey scoring a touchdown. You'd think so. If Philadelphia are losing, it's in a high-scoring game. So they're fucking like, they're all just intertwined. So if those things happen, we win. Couldn't agree. Basically, 100% if chance it's, of it's, winning. A, it's a hundred percent like responsible chance of winning. What's that paying respons- on Ned? <laughs> uh, <laughs> honestly, I, I don't, don't think, think I don't think it'd have the. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it'd be on there. No, they might not actually even have an NFL. Neds mark, don't do right. multis. No, congratulations to all our back chatters that won the bet. By the way, yes, yes. Great yeah, yeah. congratulations, back back congratulations. Back We've got one more yeah. segment that we have to get through. Um, and We'd like to get through. No, that's no, no we sure. have to because it's that good. Again, mm. um, we do a little fines session. Is it the fines thing a thing in NRL clubs? Sort of. Yeah, fines master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the great and the powerful. Ricky Stewart, the most fine coach. Oh yeah, so there's an NRL coach, Ricky Stewart, who has over like $170,000 worth of fines (laughs) for like (laughs) shit he said after games about like referees. Pending or like he's paid? No, no, he's paid. paid He said to it, he said about a player last year, he called a player after the game, like some player like kicked one of his opposition, like one of his boys in the nuts. But like not intentionally, he was like tackled and he's trying to get the guy off. He didn't get him good either. He he got him okay. He shinned him in the sack, right? Little shin. It was a little shin in the sack. Like your um, your soccer ball at the start of the game. Correct, correct. Except it didn't result in an on goal that scarred me for life. Mental torment for lifetime. But Ricky not happy about, and the kid, the guy who Ricky was talking about, Jamin Salmon, which is an, an acutely <laughs> rugby league name. No, it's rugby league. That's as rugby league as you will ever hear a name. Jamin Salmon. Yeah. It's hard to say because it just doesn't... We had a Paul Salmon in, uh, in fairness. Paul and a least, Simon. But you can say but Paul. But wasn't he Salmon? No. <laughs> but Ricky Stewart, basically, he's he came fucking fired up. He comes in fucking and he hated calls Jamin him. Salmon. He hates him. They've got history. He called, he called him a weak gutted dog. <laughs> now, Holy shit. I just want to get your opinion. What do you think that means? <laughs> Is it a weak dog that's been gutted? Or is it weak gutters in his, his, his guts like, are weak? The yeah. dog has weak guts. Sorry. He's got weak guts. Weak gutted dog. It is, a, it is the dog with weak guts. So he's like, like, he's right. a do- pro- like a propensity to shit himself. Yeah. So yeah. Tom and I were, were, were potentially of the opinion that the, that was a dog who's been gutted. It was a weak dog oh, that had been. fucking hell. Uh, Spill the guts So where did he get fine for that? I uh, got 20. 30, 40. It was not nothing. But that's also like, he 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 loves it. So to put should. it into context, if, if he's getting 40 grand fines, he can find people between 2 and $5 on this segment. Okay, good. In Fine session. session. You like that? Love that. Love you can it. hold it if you like. Thank you. Oh, fucking know. Made of old skaters. I wouldn't mind having a mallet just yeah. in the back pocket. Um, yeah. So shout out... Uh, Neds. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, D Smith Design. Fuck me. Sorry, Smitty. Fuck that up. Sorry, mate. All uh, right. We, uh, we get these through our ears. We listen to these ones. Yep. You got your headphones in there? Yeah, bro. You're going to have to hear, listen to this, Eddie. I haven't heard these, by the way. Dan has. I don't, I don't have headphones. So. Okay. So you haven't heard them? No, yet. I've heard them. I've heard them. 
I'll give us a listen. Them. This is fine. You find your mate, find yourself, find us, find these boys. To be honest, because they've been, I don't know. Look, we've come up with some. Lip. The biggest, the biggest one for me is the Ferrero shower. I think that's your biggest slip up so well, far today. But can I also just? I just want to say. So this what? You before. get fined for eating them? Is that fine for eating them? I wanted to say this just before, like I get fined because maybe this will ingratiate me a little bit more with the sort of AFL audience. Ingratiate. I actually can't. Yeah, sorry for dropping that word as well. I don't know. Don't find me for that. I don't know if it's. A but, word. Well, it is. It's just more like get me on side with all of the okay. fucking. Like that. I know. Uh, I bet. come from AFL stock. Blue bet. And Neds. Why I, do you come, what do you mean by that? So I am actually the progeny of AFL exceptionalism. <laughs> progeny. Sorry. You ingratiated yeah. and progeny. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. I wrote this before I got here. Uh, my granddad, mm. may God rest his soul, uh, he was given contracts to St Kilda and Essendon. Did he play? He didn't take him. He went to war. Sorry, he fucking defended the country. So, ba- uh, yeah, but I could, I mean... Fuck. Sorry, dude. I don't wanna, sorry, yeah. dude. Defended <laughs> the country. I don't want to say... You know you. what he said? They went, come play for us. And he went, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to go and defend the country. Listen, so I don't want to call him a liar, but it's easy to come yeah. up. No, I've yeah. got him. I've got him. It's easy to pretend. Oh, no, nah, dude. Contracts. Wait, wait. wait. Is this, is this, this is filmed. Put this in. I'm just going to send you the contracts. I've, I've, did, got, um, I've got the contracts. He won't look like did that. Did he return from the war as well? Uh, he did. He made it back, so thankfully. But so he didn't get back on the Well, I think field. he was a little So he returned a liar? Well, no. <laughs> look, he, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, I think... Bit of hero. Uh, yeah, yeah. A hero, but one that you don't trust. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I can't do <laughs> miss you, Miss you, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I never met him. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll be getting our research. So it's all about ingratiating yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just saying, dude, we're all <laughs> AFL guys. Yeah, we right. are. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Fine, Tom. Let's start with we're, fine. We're, we're raising money. That, yeah. In all seriousness, boys, after you fucking absolutely just crucified your <laughs> fucking dead grandfather. <laughs> yeah. Men's Talk, Soccer to Sarcoma, and Sabre. So there are three charities Men's Talk, Men's Mental Health. Uh, Sabre is a dog's refuge home. And Soccer to Sarcoma, incredibly rare cancer that we like to support here in Perth. Um, they Not do the great things. So, cool. Yeah, beating that cancer. So do this actually, and we donate blood. You boys donated blood, mate. Uh, I actually haven't. I've never uh, donated, and I'll. It's just, I'm not trying to make a joke, but I went to donate, and they asked if I had done any like drugs, and mm. I smoke weed sometimes, and I was like, yes. Oh, you, that's fine. You just can't inject it. I can't inject. <laughs> that's. I think that's <laughs> the the. Well, they sent me home. So he's <laughs> they sent me home. Well, Unfortunately, I haven't curtailed my habits. Tom is saying weed, and he means heroin. Yes, uh, but <laughs> I would, but I, I definitely want to donate blood because so it's I've a very donated many course. times. Many Good. Times. So we donate blood here on this podcast. My brother, I was diagnosed with AC, uh, a AML, acute myeloid leukemia, last year, and we've got a blood drive going on. So we would love if you boys could. 100%. You, first time, get Mate, off I'll the fucking smokes. And well, go. it's gummies now these days for the lungs. <laughs> but no, 100%. For I will. Lungs. Good. Mate, so that's our charity. It's a commitment. Charitable organisation. And do, Hamish do, do the right thing, Tom. Correct. Mate, I'll, you know, it'll be the, I swear to God, it'll be, I will make a point of doing Long it. live Jace Nelson. I need the proof. I need the yep. receipts. Yep. Fucking of your blood. Mate, I'll, I'll do it. I'll type. fucking I'll make it type. as soon as I get back to Sydney. I've got do good. It. Do you want blood or plasma? What do you want? I just did plasma. It was a pretty hectic experience. Plasma's hectic, hey? Yeah. That's so two hours. Out, take it out. Put it in. Take yeah. it out. Put it wow. in. Wow. Takes longer. How's your brother doing? He's doing all right. He's 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 had. He's chemo. He's starting a clinical trial. Uh, he's he's doing all right. Okay, but we're we're doing good things here on the podcast for him. So awesome. that's enough. I'll one hundred percent do it. Shout out, Jace. Uh, yep. Let's do this. Team, long live Jace Nelson. Um, let's start with Bryce, the first Bryce one. Good day, lads. It's Bryce from Melbourne here. I want to thank you for giving me a chance to get this off my chest. So I'm finding myself two bucks. All this talk about blood donating has reminded me of when my partner and I were traveling Australia. We'd regularly donate blood and I'd always bring a tote bag. And while I was waiting for Christy to finish her donation, because the blood would just pour out of me, so I'd always have about half an hour to kill, I'd have my tote bag and I'd just keep going up to that cafeteria and fill the tote bag with Freddos, caramello koalas, popcorn, chips, chalky milk, orange juice, you name it. And that would be my snacks for the next two weeks. So, yeah, thanks for letting me get that off my chest, lads. <laughs> All the best. <laughs> so it was a great fucking segue from blood donations. Didn't it? Just so I didn't in. explain to you, Tom, that when you donate blood, 
look, donating blood, great. You feel good about yourself, awesome. They've got a big fucking open cafeteria that mm. you can help yourself to. Yeah, Party pies, meat sausage pies, rolls. Yeah. sausage rolls. The one in Dubbo, it used to be a chalky milk and a sausage roll. I don't want to need sugar to be the incentive for me to donate blood, but, but you love, but you nice, love sugar, but you certainly love certainly a nice cherry on top. We're talking about fat chat here on, on back chat. I, I went in there last week, donated plasma. I had fifteen party pies. Sat there and oh, ate party okay. pies. It was That's, fucking yeah, well, exceptional. I'd like to shout out Fredo Frogs mm. and well. Caramello and Koalas, Caramello Koalas, who have gone the big on. lift for years. Well, listen, they've. <laughs> They've sent a lot of good, honest, hard-working Australian kids to Fiji, to New Zealand. Have they? Well, yeah, Queensland. like when you get you, your you do the like, donation, you know what you I mean? Know, you bring a bag of Freddos to school and be like, hey, two bucks. My, oh. my mum used to... One buck. My dad owned a petrol station and we used to... I used to sell so many of them because yeah. my mum would just put it on the counter. Shout out, Diane. That many times, I would, I would outsell the entire class. There you yeah. go. Brilliant. Which, yeah. obviously, that's kind of like cheating. That's cheating, but like, you know, that's Do your boys' mums listen to the podcast? Yeah, uh, my mum does. My mum has, and she she tries to get me to stop swearing because she wants me to get the sixty to seven year old audience. And she says it's just they're not going to listen. I go, they, they're they're probably not going to listen anyway, though, are they? <laughs> mum tells me not to swear on a weekly basis. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. does my old man and my mum. Yeah. Shout out to them, but you know what you're fucking talking about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we got another one from um, uh, Shaquille, I believe. What's his last name? O'Neill, or he will tell you. No, uh, have a listen. Couldn't be. Could be. It's Shaquille Oakmeal here. <laughs> Just wanted to find myself five bucks for saying yes to working on a weekend. It's now day 11 on my swing, and this is just fucked. <laughs> Thanks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shaquille Oakmeal coming in from uh, LA, I assume. You are just absolutely. <coughs> probably off the LeBron. We got a lot of uh, mining uh, fellas here in, in Perth, boys, a mining town. Saw that as we were coming in. A lot of high, lot of high vis at the airport. Vis city, dude. A lot of high Steel vis caps. You know Steel what? Caps. You know what? It made me feel things. And you're driving into the town, you see Rio Tinto and fucking BHP. I'm like, this is just. Well, are you happy? <laughs> fucking oath. As you say, steel caps. And I mean, look, I don't have anything against miners. I'm not stoked on the desecration of sacred lands. Shout out Rio Tinto. But <laughs> I, I was an unskilled labourer for a period of time, and I didn't know what the sort of the done thing was. But I needed steel cap boots. I rocked up on a job site with steel cap Dunlop volleys. <laughs> They exist. This <laughs> well, high sad. tops. No low, low tops. Oh, you went low. Come I on. got fucking. You probably would have got away with highs. I are got they a for roofers. I got. I don't know. I feel dude. like roofers wear the volleys. Know, but I got abused with to within an inch of my life. They what? Was, was it about? Was it about? They were white. They were Dunlop volleys with steel caps. We're we talking the blacks. We're talking the white. No green, white, like blues. white, white like, whites, double whites. Yeah, they were white no. volleys. Was that the problem, Tom? Or was it the red jeans? I think. Well, I also <laughs> yeah. Red jeans. Yeah, yeah I had red, red jeans. jeans. Do you have a photo of this? It sounds yeah. like I, I I'm going to go to work, but I'm going to look trendy because I'm a man and I live in red. I did. I rocked up lollipop lady. I rocked up in red jeans, white Dunlop volleys, and like a button up shirt. You still, was that fresh off a gig drumming in a band or something? I wish, dude. No, he, would, like he, would, he would drum me. And my singlet. missus dropped me off and they were like, what is you? this? We Steph was like, I'll drop you. He would only drum in like singlets. And straight specifically, he'd only drum in a s- banana printed singlet. That's straight not from a shop put <laughs> tournament. That's not, that's <laughs> not <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, put, just call it put, dude. Come on. So, All right, we got, one, we got one more and it's um, from the first guy again. <laughs> okay. Good day, lads. It's Bryce from Melbourne here. Hi, Bryce. I want to thank you for giving me a chance to get this off my chest. Another one. So... I'm finding myself two bucks. All this talk about blood donating has reminded me of when my partner and I were traveling Australia. We'd regularly donate blood. This is the same. Bring a tote bag. This is the same one. one. He's doubled up. Yeah, Bryce, you don't have to double up. Are we going to fucking double up? No, we're fine. That's fine. Turn him off. See you later. It actually should be eight bucks. What about Mike? Did he say Bryce here again? Yeah, exactly the same. It's the same audio. Tote bag. What about Mikey? What about Mikey? No, Mike, there was only Bryce. I could only find Bryce, two of Bryce and one of Shaquille. Well, listen, Mike Hunt wrote in. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Mike's. Left us no vines apparently. So thanks very much. Twelve dollars in the fine. We'll, we'll distribute them across the charities at the end of the year. Well, we can we can match that twelve dollars. I think, we, I think Tom and I, yeah, Tom and I no. are happy to match it. Yeah, yeah, no. I think yeah, we yeah, match it. Generosity. No. Yeah, 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 too much. Yeah, yeah. Dollar for dollar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dollar, <laughs> dollar for, for dollar. dollar. Yeah. And that's a promise. Yeah, it's a hello that's sport a hello sport promise. promise. Yeah. You know what I'd like you to do? I'd like you to take that twelve dollars. Mm. And this is in the future, remember. But right now, Friday, I'd like you to go on and I'd like you go to Blue Bet. <laughs> I'd like you to put a twelve dollar bet on our multi. Yeah. If it wins, you are to donate the winnings 
to our charity. 100%. We'll Can do I do it? it. Has, to be, no. hey. Has to be hey. blue. No. Has to be blue. I'll do it at Ned's. I'll do your deal. Yep. I'll put a Ned's bet on. Don't yep. know what it is. You can tell me whatever you like. Something right. to do with the UFC, perhaps. While we're okay. actually, yeah, we haven't spoken okay. one word okay. about we it. We haven't. Maybe we the haven't. Dubbo Dogs might be running. Who knows? Correct. We can find something. It's, we can I'll work put a twelve dollar bet on Neds. Yeah. Yep. You put a twelve dollar our multi on Blue Bet. Perfect. Yep. Got to make an account though, boys. No, no. Well, okay. I might already have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, they no. might have been a sponsor in a different. <laughs> yeah, different they might have. We might have been involved in a past life. And if either of us win, we donate to the charity. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. Right. Done. Happy to do that. Uh, tomorrow we're having Max Gorn on the pod. No, Max Gorn. Like big Max. Yeah, I know yeah. Big Max. He looks like me. Actually, he oh, does. I was going to say, he but you're hotter. Like yeah, you're he hotter. looks like me. I don't look like him. No, no, no. We, you... we covered this on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he talks about his glow up from pre beard to to do, where he is at the you moment. Do you know what glow up is? Yeah. He kept saying glow up. Yeah, yeah. Glow the cat, up. much younger than us, who knew exactly what the fuck he was talking. No, about. No, I know what glow up is. You know what glob is? Oh, fuck well, yeah. gloves where I, I knew, How old I knew are you boys? How old are you? We have a Tom and I. Tom and I go through like gloves. You thirty three as well. What the fuck is a glob? Glo- 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 yeah. yeah. He's thirty four. Gloves just where you are get you hotter. Are you thirty five this year? I'm thirty four this year, bro. Come on, like don't. How old are you? Thirty two. He looks old though, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Look at take your hat off. Take your fucking hat off. Older but hotter. Take your hat off. He's as grey as the day is long. Four day pass. All right. Disney. When you're 40, Tom, I'll be 38, but Yeah, that's not fair. It's not fair. All I right. think we're done and dusted. Yeah, I want to shout out Leadable no, Cameras. Really let's talk about age. Leadable Cameras. You're going to listen to this, boys. We didn't do this. Leadable Cameras, what's up, Lydio? This is a big ball man over here. Not yeah. me. That's, let's Lydio. Back chat live, the first of the season, is at Leadable Cameras. Mm-hmm. You won't miss it. You can see Lydio's head. Thanks to Videndum. Right? I know you boys may or may not have heard them. Videndum is one of the boys. They look after them. They sort them with Joby gear and all of the stuff we do here on the podcast. Thanks to Leadable Cameras. Our cameras, our stands, our wires. Terrible cord management. Lights. Good Shit. lights. Do they do couches? The they don't do couches. All electronics. Video would make it happen. We've got couches for you if you want to pay for them to come from Sydney because oh. we don't need them. Oh, I wish... <laughs> I wish they did air conditioning. That cost you three grand plus shipping. <laughs> I'm going to need to have a shower to go yeah, to this press shipping. conference in a little Ink bit. shipping. Back chat live. No, shipping. February 23, Panorama Club, Leadable. $95 a ticket. Not cheap, boys, I'll tell you what. But it's bloody worth it. Absolutely. Beers from Shelter. Whiskey from Whippersnap. I don't know if that's happening. Tom Barras <laughs> will be there. <laughs> Best and fairest last year. Jeremy McGovern will be there. He's won about 10 All-Australians. I'll be interviewing them. It's a phones-in-the-box type gig. We're not. There's no recording, no media, no, no, no nothing. No, no, no. It's not, It's not. oh, how the boys go on the weekend. It's hey, what trying, happened man. on the footy trip in 2018 after we won the grand final. Who's got the biggest dick you've ever seen? Correct. Yeah. And you know and what? And foreskin. We'll, we will dive old. <laughs> well, yeah, that's that's exactly. No, but that's a separate conversation. Exactly, though, isn't correct. It? That it is, is absolutely correct. Listen, if you're not prepared to pay $95 to, to hear about other men talk about other men's penises, then... <laughs> Well, then you're not. You we know, haven't like, ever touched on this on the it's podcast, but it's a very fucking topical comment in football clubs. It, it is. It is. There's game plan, and then there's who's got the biggest dick. So, That's or, but much. you know what else as well in rugby league? There's how much how much loose change can you fit in your force? I've seen some of these. I've got to be honest. Either. There's a fair bit. There's a guy in rugby What's the league. Record? I heard, and I'm not going to say his name, but apparently Jason Riles could fit like seven or eight dollars <laughs> in his four. <laughs> In what sort of silvers? Oh, gold, yeah, silvers. Silvers. So it you're not talking. Sense. Well, listen. I think it was probably. It was a mixture of. You're not sil- talking four twos. I'm saying it was a mixture of silvers and gold, but there were certainly predominantly silvers from the from from the mail I'm getting across my desk. It's mainly silvers. Ninety five dollars per ticket. We will cover those <laughs> fucking events. Lidio at leadablecameras.com dot You RSVB there. The Hello Sports Boys. I mean, we might fly them over for it. Honestly, please do. Yeah, we do. Two weeks. You we'll come uh, over. We'll run the foreskin challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we done? Are we done? Yeah, West Australians, how it's done. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck, boys. Hey, and just quickly before we go, what was the name of your brother's charity? Uh, long live Jace Nelson. It Mate. is the blood donation group on Lifeblood. So Sweet. when you go, when you sign up. Long live Jace team. Nelson. Yeah, we'll make we'll make Jason? it we'll make it a regular thing that we talk about in our potty as well. We'll Might make sure we man. push it. Might yeah. man. Long That's live Jace. Just one one quick thing. Do you have to have the word team still? Yeah. Team, team long, long live whoever, Jace Nelson. Team, oh, I'm gonna long shout this out. So whoever set the, 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 the name up, instead of just writing the name. They wrote team. <laughs> they wrote team. Right, like they're talking about like Twilight. <laughs> yeah, so it's team the West Coast Eagles. Yeah, team yeah. West Coast yeah. Eagles. So okay. the, the Lifeblood website, if you just search Long Live Jace Nelson, it'll be like, no results. Yeah. You have to go team, team Long, long Live Jace Nelson. All right, perfect. Makes sense. Correct. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Easy to remember, actually. Yep. Yeah, correct. All right, we're done. Whippersnapper, Margaret River Roasting Co, Blue Bet. 
Ned's Ned. shelter <laughs> for co- and leadable cameras. You know what's up. Find us on Backchat. Find the boys over at Hello Sport. They're doing sick stuff. Send us an email. Hello at backchatpodcast.com.au. Find all our shit at backchatpodcast.com.au. Are we going to give any patrons anything? Yeah, we'll give the patrons a little uh, something. We, we need a little beer, but if you want to stick around and watch this, you know where to sign up on the website. Patrons. You got any patrons, boys? We actually don't. No, it's, about it's one of those things where well, uh, we, 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 we should have. You know, we're too kind, too giving. <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, we're, we're even lazy. more giving and give them more. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to yeah. see in about one minute. Bye-bye. Yeah. Ciao. Bye-bye.